Okay, it's day one of Reading Festival. I'm here with Wilkinson. How's it going? Yeah, good, good. It's very tired, but um, yeah, it's nice to be at a festival, nice for the sun to be out, I think. I think it's still out. Um, yeah, I mean, it was hot earlier. Came out in black t shirt, black jeans, and. Didn't think it through, did you? No, no, no. I've got shorts, I've got my tour bus here, so I've got all my clothes there, so it's nice. Now, why are you tired? Is it because of work things, or did you have a late yeah, one last actually, night? For once, it's actually work. I was in Hungary last night, um, so I played there, um, and I didn't sleep. I had a late gig and had to fly out here early, so. Yeah, no, it's, it's gonna be an interesting day. So, um, yeah, it's, it's fun, you know, I love it. and you get sleep here and there when you can so do you think you are naturally made out for this lifestyle or do you struggle with the time zones and the, um, the schedule and all that I, sort of I, stuff? I honestly used to think i couldn't do it and there was those times when i thought uh like there's no way i'm going to be able to carry on doing this but you sort of get into a flow and when festival season comes about you've kind of got it's just such a better atmosphere you know clubs are very different going to clubs in the winter every night and not getting <laughs> not getting much sleep getting a dry throat um, it's a uh, it's a different environment you know and, and and obviously festivals are fun and so you can kind of like it's just it's, it's all good so now, how do you feel when you know you've got Reading and Leeds or a festival like this on your um, schedule because it's not obvious you don't think of DJs and dance when you think of Reading it's very diverse, but it, you think more of the alternative and the rock. It, do you yeah, see I mean, it as a challenge? Or? I've never been to Reading or Leeds, so it's sort of like I've got a diary that's so busy that these these two gigs, obviously, the kind of like highlight gigs, and and there's there's you know Glastonbury, obviously, as well, and um, yeah, you know, it's it's just I'm just going to do what I, I I do at every other sort of festival and see how the crowd reacts to it and adapt and. And, and evolve through the hour, you know. And I've got all my lighting rig here and, and uh, my whole stage set up, and so I'm looking forward to doing that. You know, it's not we, we've we've done this show at two other gigs, um, so this is the third time we've we've done my full production show. So it's quite nerve-wracking. It's not just like turning up and DJing. It's kind of triggering lights, and there's a lot that can go wrong. So, so your brain has got to be on point. Yeah, so obviously it's great that I, uh, I haven't slept. Uh, it's really I good, yeah. Do you stay off alcohol before a set then, particularly tonight when it's... I've already had one beer. One, one beer. Tonight. One beer just to kind of level me out. And then um, what I'd usually do is I have a beer earlier on, then a vodka Red Bull, maybe two before I go on to give me that energy. And then after that, it doesn't matter what happens because... I can just climb into my tour bus at 2.30 and then get driven to Leeds. Do it all over again. But do you find that after a gig, you're kind of, your adrenaline's high and you want to go out partying, or is it so exhausting to do what you do that you are literally drained? And... No, you, when you, you, th you think that, like, before I go on, usually I'm like, if I'm really tired, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna, just going to do the show and then I'm going to go to bed. As soon as you come off stage, you're so buzzing because you, you get a rush off the crowd and you just want to get involved. And... Um, yeah, that's that's basically it. It happens every time. So I'll probably end up in some tent somewhere, like oh, watch out, people. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. But you know, there's a lot of us here. There's about 20 of us. So um, yeah, it's gonna be fun. I think I'm gonna hear stories about your troop later on. We'll see. I mean, I've got I've got to, I've got to be in the tour bus at 2:30, otherwise it leaves without me. Apparently. So. Is your tour manager quite strict with you? He's standing behind you, so yeah, he's pretty, watching like a hawk. Yeah, he's pretty good. <laughs> Making sure I've got water and <laughs> I'm where I'm meant to be. Yeah. Good man. Yeah. Now, is there any heroes here that you might want to try and get a chat with or talk about collaborations with? You know what? I've been so, so rubbish. I don't even know who's on the lineup. I mean, obviously, it's a disgrace. It's, a, it's terrible. You know, on my dance stage, I've got a lot of friends there. You know, Net Scott is headlining, and he's like a really good mate of mine. I'm, and we've got dressing rooms right next to each other. So, I was saying earlier, it's just, it's going to be. I don't know what's going to happen later, but there's going to be about 40 of us there. And, I'm quite worried, but it should be pretty funny. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm going to go and check out the main stage, get involved in the crowds and sort of like sneak about and see what I can really. Hand out some CDs? Hand out? No, yeah. No, people have to buy my music now. Yeah, maybe, God. maybe five years ago, yeah.
Those are the days. <laughs> yeah, those are the days. Handing out CDs. Yeah, but no, so it's, it's going to be good. You know, I'm really looking forward to just kind of winding down after my set and, and, and um, having some food and seeing some friends and, yeah. I mean, uh, you, you see so many familiar faces as well in an environment like this. So it's always nice to have a little wonder about. It's hard, though, because a lot of industry people are here and you feel like you've got to stop and yeah, chat every five minutes. Oh, hey! You, you say hello to someone and they're like, oh, hey, and, you, and the worst thing to say is nice to meet you. Because then you go, oh, well, I met you at this place. Yeah. So I say, oh, hey, how you doing? That is rule number one yeah. of doing this. Just say, how you doing, rather than, oh, nice to meet you. I say good to see you. Good to see it's you. It's always good to see yeah, you. Yeah, it's always good to see people. Now but, I know if but, I see you again. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I say, hey, uh, <laughs> yeah, nice to meet you. Though. No, it's, it's, um, yeah, it's one of those things you got to be. <laughs> Keep it in there. <laughs> yeah. Now, do you have to kind of pinch yourself now and again because of how well everything's gone for you lately? Like, you are riding high at the moment. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's... You sort of don't really... I don't really see it because you kind of... One moment you're kind of doing a, a sort of small festival and then you just see you get yourself getting billed. Billing is where you kind of see yourself... I guess it's where other people see you in... in um, hierarchy yeah yeah and that's it and seeing some of the billing is that's when i'm like really you know like i, I really like that band but like, you know, it's like that's weird yeah that is weird and, and that that's that's when i kind of have to pinch myself yeah. what about when people are really excited to meet you and have a picture with you is that a bit weird to get used to no i get used to that because i do a lot of clubs and and, and, and you know um and that happened from 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 the beginning you know even if you're doing a small club and there's a few people, you know, that know, like... I mean, I used to play gigs for, like, 100 people and uh, 50 people would turn up and they'd be like, I really like that tune that you got. So, can I get a picture? Is that really nice? But now, obviously, it's a lot bigger scale. But I really like it. I love meeting, like... I love hearing what what the people have to say. Some people, though, they just ask you for a picture. They say, oh, hey, can I get a picture? And it's like, well, how are you? You're right. Yeah, conversation would be nice. Yeah, or they just like, excuse me. And, and it's like, well... I feel like I'm being used for Facebook. It's like, yeah, I, I met him. Like, no, Profile picture. Actually, it's nice to have a conversation with people and find out where they've, what they you know, where they've been, where they come from, and yeah. I don't think everyone's like that though. Some musicians so. just want to get it done and out the way. No, no, I don't know. Yeah, some people are divas, yeah. divas, let's say. If next time I see you and I've said good to see you and you've become a, a diva, yeah, do you want me to say oi? Say oi. Let's have a chat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> ask me, ask me a question before you uh, take a picture of me. Yes, yeah, I will definitely want to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, what's the goal for 2015? Do you have like a checklist of things you yeah, want to do? I'm, I'm, I'm finishing my album, my, my second album, and uh, that's going to come out in 2015 in the summer. So that's that goal, and to have a pretty much fully live show as well. Um, so those are my two goals: the bigger show and another album. Does that mean like live musicians? Do you mean like a band yeah, playing with you? Yeah, bands. Like, I'm, I've, I've got a lot of guest vocalists coming today, um, which is really, really good. And uh, more of them, and, 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 and like bands. And I want to, I want to be able to just kind of, yeah, just build more of a live show, I guess. A bit like Chase and Status, how they do their thing, kind of. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're a great inspiration, you know. And just performing your music live is. I mean, I've, I've always done it in bands when I was younger. I used to be in a jazz band and. So, yeah, that's the goal, really. Now, are you ready to delve into the bum bag? Yes. Right, put your hand in there. and. So it's not your tissues in there or anything like that, right? (laughs) Old wet wipes. Okay. Right. Right. Uh, They're they're not too R-rated or anything like that. That's all right. I've been asked some really weird things. Who is my... Oh, this is... Who is my celebrity crush? Mila Kunis. Who doesn't like Mila? I know, she's literally perfect. Yeah. Um, she's cute and sexy. Yeah, she's just be a nice wife. You know what I mean? I mean, there's obviously really fit cele- <coughs> celebrities, but she's a wifey. Yeah. yeah. Damn Ashton. Yeah. Oh, is that? I, I don't know. Ashton Kutcher's got her. I, she's, she's always single in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> always will be. And always will be, yeah. Right. One more. One more. I hope it's a good juicy one. That was quite, I let you off with that. It's got a nice one, yeah. I thought you said there was no X-rated stuff. <laughs> if I could create a law, what would it be? Um, 
I'm going to say... What am I going to say? There's something that I didn't like, that I saw recently. And it's a certain fashion. Um, and it comes... It originates from Essex. And it's these, like, really short shorts. Really short shorts. Oh, no, no, wait, let's... let's let, let, have you seen these, like, Speedos that are just basically half? Like, so basically it's, it just holds everything in and just about. Oh, I saw the pictures of them. Those, those should be banned. I concur. <clears throat> basically, that's that it. No, ban the half speedo thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah half speedos, no, no. That's, that's against the law now. Right. Well, thank you for talking to me. Yeah, <laughs> Have a good day at Reading. This is Wilkinson and you should subscribe to Sophie's channel.